Well, it looks like my old man's hard at it. Pretty to handy to have uh, have him around to mow the lawn for me. <laughs> I did finally get around to finishing this uh, little roll around workbench extension that I that I was building the other day. Got uh, my drill press, a couple of bench grinders and a small work surface. Got my little air, air blower keyboard cleaner thing, which is handy for blowing the dust off. And some storage shelves um, where that, that I adjusted to fit these totes here. And I can put some basic supplies in like pest control, mouse traps, um, ATF, spray paint, uh, engine oil of various grades, antifreeze, and plumbing supplies, that sort of thing. This one over here is sort of more of an... Hmm, that's weird, I'm not focusing. Hmm. Um, this one here... Hmm, man, what's up with my focus? Hmm. Huh. Anyway, uh, this one here is uh, um, sort of a roll-around chest, and I have like uh, like uh, like circuit panels and circuit breakers and, and wire, basic household wiring stuff. And you know how weak these little three-drawer chests are. That so I uh, built these little side walls here and supported this little platform so I could put my main toolbox that I use here at home on top and I can roll it around. Pretty happy. Not too bad. So anyway, um, the reason I'm making this video is just wanted to touch base and uh, talk a little bit about fuel. <laughs> the um, let me close this so the lawnmower noise will be a little less dramatic. <laughs> anyway, um, in order for for people to really get into something like uh, like build a project or you know make YouTube videos or uh, or uh, you know any learn about something new or pretty much everything we do. It has to come from the heart, otherwise it just doesn't get done. You know, you can think about stuff intellectually, and but if you just don't have that oomph to make it happen, it just, it just doesn't happen. Nothing happens. You can intellectualize about things all day long, but, uh, but if, you, if you don't have the fuel necessary to make something happen, you know, like like whatever your whatever it is that your passion is uh, you can't just it's it's really difficult and doesn't really work to just say you know I really should feel very enthusiastic about blah whatever it is and and then attempt to do that and attempt to feel enthusiastic about it but man if you don't actually have the enthusiasm for it uh, you, um, you just, nothing gets done. <laughs> so, um, that's one of the things that I'm seeing in the MIGTO community lately. And it's also what I'm seeing in the prepper community lately. Because, you know, and, and the sort of the fringe people, you know, people who, um, who study, you know, about things like 9-11 and, uh, building seven blowing up without being hit by a plane that sort of thing you know um, those community I'm, I'm sort of in three communities MIGTO, Prepper and uh, sort of tinfoil hat community <laughs> oh I'm permaculture too of course uh, which is part of Prepper I, th I think um, but anyway um, when you um, but if you 
if you don't have the fuel necessary to uh, to do you know make yourself or have, give them give yourself the motivation to get some of these projects done then of course nothing will get done on them so uh, and what I'm seeing overall in the MGTOW community is that you know people come into the community and they have just been they've been brutalized and they're and they see things that are just completely unfair and just wrong and perverted and pathetic and just incredibly just dysfunctional and wrong that uh, in the way that men have, men are being just abused and used and uh, and it, in such unfair ways you know of course the draft and circumcision and uh, thing and then women of course are always saying how oppressed they are but they don't have to deal with any of that that garbage right so um, it's the anger that a lot of people feel that gives them the fuel oops looks like my dad ran over a stick or something <laughs> Anyway, it, uh, it gives you the fuel to make these things happen. But what I'm seeing in the MGTOW community is a decrease in the anger, the fuel, which is, which is anger, right? You can run on a bunch of different things, right? You can run on anger. You can run on hate. <laughs> and those are very powerful fuels. But, um, you know, they can tend to burn the person who uses them. <laughs> and... Uh, it's a it's a fuel that burns you as well as motivates you but uh, then eventually as time goes on uh, a lot of MGTO they get into the community and then and they they're really creative because they're so angry and then and then you know a year maybe two later they just lose that anger and then some of them don't have anything to replace it with um, and there are other fuels that you can run on <laughs> which will uh which will work although they're not as intense um and that is like the basic enthusiasm of just having a better more stable more prosperous uh, uh far less stressful life uh which is what you can have if you're if you've been on the mig toe path for a while you know same and same with the prepper lifestyle. You know, you can, you can be angry about uh, the economy and the way the banker elite have just totally hosed up the economy. Um, or, and then a lot of preppers start out that way, or fearful, you know, afraid of all of the uh, hardship that is headed our way. Uh, or you can, uh, you can basically... Uh, you can you can as as you progress uh oh hey dad did something go wrong with the mower okay let me be I'll come right out there all right back to fuel <laughs> um so what I'm thinking is that uh, a lot of the MGTOW community is actually running out of anger <laughs> and they're reaching the point where, uh, where they are uh, sort of reaching for another fuel. <laughs> and, and for me, this, this secondary fuel, which is not as, not as intense, uh, but it's a lot less poisonous, and that is just a basic appreciation of your overall well-being. You know, your overall very comfortable, uh, prosperous lifestyle. And uh, the same goes with the prepper community and, uh, and even the permaculture community. I'm a big fan of Paul Wheaton and his permaculture podcast, and he basically talks about how how uh, he likes to uh, spend less time being angry at evil people and uh, more time, uh, you know, just building a better life instead of wasting energy being uh, angry. So, yeah, and so what I'm thinking is a lot of these YouTube people, uh, these 
a younger MGTOW who who come just blasting into the MGTOW community, causing a huge amount of waves and energy, and uh, and and they basically then after a couple of years or a year or whatever, then their intensity their starts to peter out because they start running on less and less of their anger because it's just you know anger just goes away after a while and then they end up quitting <laughs> they they lose their intensity lose their drive and then what happened to MGTOW United he just um, he basically just deleted all of his videos and uh, he's apparently closing his channel uh, so that I find that very unfortunate. <laughs> Got a ton and a half of cherry tomatoes over there. <laughs> Good times. So anyway, uh, that's that's what I think is going on in the Big Toe community. It's kind of sad to see all of that work, all of those videos that uh, that Big Toe United made. He, would, he just deleted them all, yanked the rug out from under us, and and just and now he's deleting his channel. Now, I find that pretty darn tragic, and I kind of let him know uh, that I was not happy about that because all of that creativity that he put into it could have benefited other other guys, other MGTO for like years, maybe even decades to come, and yet. Uh, it's all gone now <clears throat> and I don't even know if he has backups on his home computer or something uh, but now all of that creativity is gone and man if I ever um, unless I have some kind of serious com computer I mean uh, identity breach like somebody drops my docs and and then I have a bunch of feminists out out uh, <laughs> front picketing saying uh, hey, hey, ho, oh, oh, ho, Vention MGTOW's got to go. <laughs> well, then I might have to delete my channel, but uh, that's about the only thing that would do it, really. Um, so basically, yeah, it's, it's tragic what's happened. Um, people run out of anger, and then they can't find the second fuel, which I have found, you know, which is basically the appreciation of the life that you can create for yourself um, as long as your wealth and money isn't siphoned away uh, and through like a heavy spending wife and it <laughs> and then of course the divorce court and child support and alimony and her legal fees and all that stuff so um, so basically um, yeah that's where we are right now <clears throat> well I think I will let you guys go later. <laughs>